Hi, it's Katrina. From a new species of spider to a bunker in your backyard, here are 10 recent creepy discoveries. Number 10. Right Hand of St. John the Baptist John the Baptist lived during the first century and is considered a prophet among numerous religions, including Christianity and Islam. While some early followers considered him to be the Messiah, John the Baptist not only foresaw the coming of Jesus, but baptized him as well, according to the Gospels of the New Testament. John the Baptist was sentenced to death and beheaded in 30 AD under the orders of the ruthless Roman King Herod and his body was buried at the city of Sebaste in what is now the West Bank. As the legend goes, when Luke the Evangelist passed through Sebaste during his travels, preaching in various cities and towns, he took the right hand of John the Baptist with him. He brought it to his home city of Antioch in modern-day Turkey, where it allegedly performed miracles and moved on its own. Every September during the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross, the hand was presented to worshippers. An open hand predicted a bountiful harvest, while a closed hand warned of a poor harvest. After the Muslims seized Antioch, the relic was transported from place to place, eventually ending up in Constantinople in 956 AD, where the annual ritual of displaying the hand to the public continued. Today, pieces of the hand are rumored to be at cathedrals and churches in various countries, including Montenegro and Greece. Which of these claims are authentic, and where exactly it is, are ongoing topics of debate among the devout. Number 9. The Spaghetti Monster While spending time with her family at Mustang Island State Park in Texas recently, beachgoer Jennifer Baltazar spotted what she described in a social media post as creepy, eyeball-looking creatures along the shore. They were like nothing she'd seen before, so she snapped pictures in hopes that someone would be able to identify the strange specimens. Wildlife officials were stumped, and a marine biologist was equally surprised. The mysterious life form was eventually identified as Rhizophyza eisenhartii, more commonly known as spaghetti monsters or thread jellies, a siphonophore species that's related to the Portuguese man o' war. Uh oh! Native to the tropical waters of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans, spaghetti monsters are rarely seen in the region. Baltazar said that she believed one of the small creatures stung her eight year old son, who frantically emerged from the water in pain. He was reportedly okay and toughed it out, but he had moderate pain and burning, which lasted for around 20 minutes, and he had no interest in going back into the ocean. Who can blame him? That doesn't sound pleasant. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Or have you ever been stung by a sea creature? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Hidden Bomb Shelter The internet has seen its fair share of creepy discoveries inside people's homes thanks to TikTok. In March, California resident Jennifer Little documented the discovery of a hidden bomb shelter beneath her home and shared footage of the experience with her followers. Revealing the secret room in three separate clips, she explained that she discovered a manhole cover on her bedroom floor while rearranging the furniture. That's pretty creepy. The spooked woman sent her husband in to investigate. Yeah, you go in, honey. I'll be right behind you. Would you go inside? Let me know in the comments below. He braved the unknown and found a filthy Cold War-era shelter that appeared to have been built during the 1950s. The bunker is ventilated and contains two bunk beds, a urinal, cabinets, and wall hooks, and is attached to a newly discovered dry room. As eerie as the discovery may seem, Little ultimately shrugged it off as no big deal, knowing that her house was built in 1951 as the Cold War heated up and Americans became increasingly concerned about the prospect of nuclear warfare, especially in Central California where she lives, she pointed out that having a bomb shelter was pretty normal for back then. Is it though? Under your bedroom floor? I don't know, that's pretty scary. Number 7. New Spider Species A zookeeper at Zoo Miami was taken aback in 2012 when they discovered a large black spider while tending to reptile research traps. Much to the surprise of the zoo's conservation and research department, photos of the creature did not match existing records of any known species in the region. The mystery endured until two years later, when another specimen was captured and sent to experts for identification. Dr. Rebecca Godwin, a biology professor at Piedmont College in Georgia, recently wrote a paper describing the spider as a previously unknown member of the Omidia genus. The new species, dubbed Umidia Richmond, or the Pine Rockland Trapdoor Spider, lives in the critically endangered Pine Rockland forest that surrounds the zoo. 
The Pine Rockland Trapdoor Spider is venomous, inflicting a bite that feels similar to a bee sting. Females are thought to be two to three times larger than males, who are roughly the size of a quarter. Females of similar species are known to live for as long as 20 years, making them some of the longest-lived spiders on record. They spend their entire lives in the same burrow, awaiting passing prey and typically only leaving to mate or seize their next meal. Males burrow for up to seven years before leaving to mate and die shortly thereafter. Over the last 35 years, staff members have only encountered a handful of these creatures, pointing toward their likelihood of being just as endangered as their fragmented native habitat. Number 6. 19th Century Tunnel When Alton, Illinois resident Gary Machins noticed the sidewalk outside his home starting to slope, he decided to try to fix it. While digging, he noticed an opening to an underground tunnel that he had no idea was there. The structure is estimated to date back to around 1840, making it 50 years older than Matchin's house, and it's noticeably well-built. Speaking with Fox 2 Now, Matchin's remarked that it took a lot of men and a lot of hours to build the tunnel, adding that one guy didn't do this. The tunnel could have served numerous purposes, including as a storage space or even as a part of the Underground Railroad. Matchins explained that there was once a ferry in Alton that carried passengers to Missouri, which may have made the area an integral part of a path that escaped slaves used to reach freedom. It appears as though the tunnel was covered in 1895, when local residents laid brick along the street to accommodate a change in elevation. While Matchins hopes to eventually open the mysterious space up for public viewing with financial backing from the local government, for now he is focused on sealing the entry back up so he can fix the sidewalk. Number 5. Ancient Shark Most people would agree that sharks are fascinating but creepy, if not scary. But modern species don't hold a candle to some of the ancient sharks that once lurked in the world's oceans, and which qualify as downright terrifying. Around 370 million years ago in what is now Morocco, sharks called chondrichthyans were equipped with specialized jaws that could drop downward and rotate outward, making it easier to catch prey. Because sharks are cartilaginous, there are very few surviving fossilized examples. In a recently published study, researchers gained access to a rare, well-preserved specimen, which they used as a reference in combination with 3D models and a reconstructed jaw to simulate the mechanics of how the sharks ate. In addition to being able to jut each half of its jaw out in seemingly unnatural ways, these marine predators were also able to suction feed thanks to their strange anatomy. By protruding their jaws outward, they cause seawater to rush into their mouth, trapping and immobilizing the prey, according to lead study author Linda Frey. If this rotating jaw was so efficient, why is it absent from today's species? The team theorized that tooth replacement became more advantageous, eventually rendering the rotating jaw obsolete and causing it to disappear through evolution. Number 4. A City of Secret Spaces Last October, new homeowner Andrea Munro discovered a hidden room in her basement in the city of St. John's in Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. She told CBC's Andy Bullman that she found the space while trying to see where some pipes led and that it wasn't in the blueprints for the house, which was built in 1957. The room is connected to a corner of the basement via a hidden entrance and has cement walls lined with wooden shelves. Munro has no idea what it was meant for, but believes it's an unfinished Cold War-era bunker, which she described as cool and a little creepy. Cold War bunkers aren't unheard of in St. John's, and Munro's house falls into the appropriate time period for one, according to heritage home expert Shane O'Day, who spoke with CBC. He pointed out that the city has numerous other types of secret spaces, including unused coal chutes and hidden rooms that were ultimately sealed off or boarded up. Local resident John Navarro realized after a year of living in his apartment that it contained one such space. While looking up at his home from outside, he noticed a second-story window that did not match up with the layout of the rooms. Overcome with curiosity, Navarro scaled the building and peered inside, where he saw a mysterious, unused room. The only way in was from outside, and the window was nailed shut. When Navarro eventually bought the house and was finally able to investigate properly, he found not one but two rooms that had been walled off at some point in the home's history. Inside the space were the eerie remnants of a long-forgotten past, including a vintage soda bottle, a pre-war saw, and a collection of toys that Navarro believes are at least 50 years old. Playing on the hidden aspect of the space, he turned it into a secret playroom for his daughter. 
As chilling and mysterious as the discovery may seem, Navarro said he was happy to learn it was there and turn it into a functional space. These recent stories lend credibility to local folklore claiming that St. John's is littered with secret subterranean spaces and tunnels, many that are still waiting to be discovered. Number 3. Strange Ancient Graves Archaeologists discovered one of Europe's oldest cemeteries in 2016 on a hilltop near the German village of Gross Fredenwald. Dating back some 8,500 years to the Mesolithic period, it contained nine human skeletons, five of which belonged to children younger than six years old, including a six-month-old baby. At the time, Europe was populated by nomadic hunter-gatherers, making it rare to uncover multiple Mesolithic graves in one place, as forensic anthropologist Bettina Junklaus told National Geographic. But this cemetery was used for over 1,000 years, until around 7,000 years ago. The burials are also oddly situated in a place where the soil was rocky and hard, making digging difficult, and with no nearby sources of water, making it a less than ideal location for a settlement. Archaeologist Thomas Turberger, who led the excavation, took these factors as signs that the burials were deliberate and thought out, making it a true anomaly among other European graves from the time period. Perhaps the strangest feature of the site is a man who was buried standing up with bone tools and flint knives. Even more strangely, his body was only buried up to the knees at first, and the rest of his remains were left to decay before the grave was filled in. His skeleton shows that he was not accustomed to hard labor, indicating that he was a craftsman of some sort. Because he lived at a time when Europe's first farmers were settling in the region, his remains stand to offer new insight on this transitional period and the encounters between hunter-gatherers and those with a more agrarian lifestyle. But the biggest question of all is why was the man buried standing up? Researchers are hoping that a DNA analysis will help determine whether he migrated to the area from modern-day Russia, where similar standing burials have also been discovered. Number 2. Amphibious Centipede For the first time in nearly a century and a half, researchers have identified a new centipede species in Japan. Dubbed Scolopendra alciona, the creature measures around 8 inches long and an inch wide, has nearly two dozen pairs of legs, and is amphibious. It's the largest known centipede in the Ryukyu Islands, and only the third swimming centipede among the 100 or so species that make up the Scolopendra genus. Scientists identified the new creature through genetic testing and by comparing it to other centipedes, and discussed their findings in a newly published study placing the species on the centipede family tree. The seven specimens they collected for their research were found beneath stones and observed preying on river shrimp. They are equally comfortable on land and in the water, according to the study, and will eagerly dive into the water to evade predators. A study co-author said that it's difficult to differentiate between Scolopendra species, who often contain only minor differences from one another. But the discovery of the new species is a promising sign of the untapped biodiversity waiting to be found in the islands which scientists are eager to explore as the Earth's wildlife becomes increasingly threatened by climate change and human activity. As creepy as giant centipedes are, they are extremely popular in the exotic pet trade, even though they don't thrive in captivity. For this reason, it's all the more important to identify new species before it's too late to conserve them. Number 1. Soviet-era Bunker Geez, there's bunkers everywhere! As you know by now, it's not uncommon for people to discover fallout shelters in their homes dating back to the Cold War era. But it is rare to find one of these spaces left frozen in time, untouched since its abandonment. In 2017, an urban explorer known only by the YouTube name Shai discovered a small concrete building while wandering through an old factory in Russia. In the video, he can be seen passing through a pitch-dark corridor before opening two giant metal doors to reveal a room with working ventilation and electricity, chock full of old relics. Included among the items are gas masks, newspaper clippings, photographs, tools, boots, medicine, clothing, and boxes full of equipment dating back to World War II. There are coats hanging on hooks, papers hung on the wall, and what appears to be a designated sleeping quarters covered in clothing and survival equipment. 
The bunker's location was never revealed, and it's safe to bet that the explorer wasn't supposed to be in there, so the details surrounding the site remain shrouded in mystery, leaving internet users to draw their own conclusions about why it's there, and looks as if it were abandoned yesterday. Thanks for watching! What's the creepiest thing you've ever found? Do you have a bunker in your house that you didn't know about? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!